Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to look at the song Sama Tenga by Simon Chimbetu. In this song, Simon Chimbetu is asking a couple of questions to his maker. He's saying, no vunza mvunzo uya kuma tenga. So he's got some burning questions in his heart that he need answers. I believe this question is at the back of everyone's mind. He's saying he wants to know what happens to his relatives when they die. So when someone dies, what happens to them? So he's asking these questions to God. He's saying, God, please tell us, where do you put our relatives when they die? Why is it that when they go to this place, we can't talk to them? When they go to this place, they can't send a message to us to say, we have arrived and we are well. So he wants to know all those questions. Death is one of the hardest thing or the most painful things in a human's life. Losing a loved one is very sad. And one question that everyone will have at the back of their mind is, what happens to my relatives when they die? Even myself, when I die, what happens to me? Do I, am I conscious? Do I know what's happening or not? So probably there are many answers to this depending on who you ask. But from a Christian perspective, we have to look at what the Bible says. What does the Bible say about death? One of the most fascinating stories in the Bible is that of Lazarus. So Lazarus was dead for a couple of days. And when Jesus was asked to come and pray for him, he said, don't worry, he is sleeping. So according to the Bible, when someone dies, they're unconscious. They don't even know what's happening. It's like someone who's sleeping. Jesus said it, and the Bible mentioned it over and over again. When someone dies, if you're a Bible-believing person, the Bible says they are just sleeping. And they only wake up on resurrection day. That is when Jesus comes back for the second time. So questions like this are part of what, what we call the questions of life, the important questions of life. They are very pertinent questions. Some of these pertinent questions include, where did we come from? Why are we here? Where are we going? So where, where are we going is part of this question that Simon Shibetu is asking here. Like, what happens to when someone dies? Is there life after death? Or when you die, that's it. So it all, how you answer these questions, it all depends on your worldview. So it's called a worldview. So if you ask someone who is an atheist, who doesn't believe in the Bible, they'll tell you a different answer. If you talk to someone who is a philosopher, they'll tell you a different answer. If you ask a scientist to explain these questions using scientific theory, they'll give you a different answer. So what I'm trying to say here, this song highlights one of the most important questions that every human being has to answer consciously or unconsciously at the back of their mind. And it's very important to know that in life, how you perceive things, how you answer these questions affects how you act, affects your priorities. So your worldview is one of the most important things that determine who you really are and how you view life. Because imagine if you don't believe in God, you don't believe in the Bible, you don't believe that there's life after death, you believe that we only have this life on earth. Once you die, that's it. There's nothing else. So whatever you are doing, you want to maximize this time because you know after you die, there's nothing. But if you believe in God, if you believe in the Bible, whatever you're doing now, you know it is going to affect the afterlife because the bible says although you die one day when jesus comes back they are going to come out from the graves they are going to meet with him in the sky so that's something to look forward to if you believe in the bible so to answer simon shimbeto in his questions where he says god where do you take our relatives when they die i'm going to use the bible here so you when the relatives die they sleep they are unconscious. They don't know what's happening. They can't interact with the living. The dead can't interact with the living. And also, when you're sleeping, you're unconscious. You don't know what's happening around you until such a time you wake up. And in this instance, waking up is the resurrection day when Jesus comes back. To all those relatives, friends that will have passed on, may their soul, souls rest in peace. Death is one of the most challenging things to deal with. The grief the sadness of losing a loved one is really painful. So to everyone who's listening to this video and you have lost some relatives, we pray for you that the Holy Spirit may help you to heal all the wounds, may help you so that you can deal with all the emotional challenges. And Simon Chimbetu, may your soul rest in peace. This was a brilliant song that you did with very pertinent questions that I believe very important for everyone to ask and get answers. So when we ask, we need answers. So guys, I'm getting emotional right now thinking of my own relatives that have passed on. But one day on resurrection night, we are going to meet them 
So that's one of the things that encourages me to say, although they are sleeping right now, we're going to meet again one day. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please like, share and subscribe. And if there are any songs, Zimbabwean songs, you want us to, to analyze for you and tell you what they mean, what the lessons are in there, please feel free to comment in the comment box down below and we'll do it for you. Peace.